like he has a roughness to his voice but it still sounds great and it really gives the lyrics more power you know especially when you're touching on uh important subjects like this hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you're having a good one today i'm the metal junkie and today i'm returning to wasp with the song the headless children off the album of the same name from 1989 uh, this is track number three I'm going through the whole thing slowly but surely so let's jump right in it's almost six minutes long let's get it Not how I was expecting that to come in. It was like really creepy and eerie sounding at the start. Then it just kicks it with the 80s rock, <laughs> you know, right away. Now the guitars are sounding creepy with the the whammies and the notes that they're hitting. Those drums are just so epic. Um, I love Frankie Benali's drums so far on this album. He's been killing it. I'm going to run that back. That section before the guitars came in, was that keyboard or what? Uh, it sounds, doesn't sound like a guitar. Listen. Right here. Interesting, really catchy chorus there. I like they brought that guitar riff back. Um, this band has that essential 80s sound that I love. I do a lot of 80s bands on the channel, but they don't always have that authenticness, you know. You can tell that this was straight out of the 80s. We get that rock, uh, not rock, we get the drum beat uh, playing out through the verse. It really is the backbone of the song. 
And yeah, so far, so good. The Headless Children, I like the line where he said the children are losing their minds or something like that, which is kind of like the Headless Children, you know. And it's sad uh, to see them grow up in this type of world that we're, that we're living in. It was true in 1989, and it's even more true today. Uh, really interesting stuff. I just want to add Blackie Lawless, the vocalist. He has such, like, he has a roughness to his voice, but it still sounds great. And it really gives the lyrics more power, you know, especially when you're touching on uh, important subjects like this. kick-ass solo with a kick-ass rhythm section this section right here that down it's uh it really reminds me of iron maiden you know i'm i'm sure that was an inspiration perhaps but i i really hear that in there wow i didn't realize the song was almost done um yeah great solo they were hauling out everything from the, the fast tapping to the you know the sweeps everything it was everything you want from a solo and it sounded like they were going back and forth with two guitars uh, might be done in studio, I'm not sure, but from what I hear, there's two leads in there. It's all around great track so far. Let's wrap her up. That was almost six minutes and it didn't feel like it at all. It felt like it was one minute. Um, I could have really used the chorus one more time, you know, come back just to wrap things up. Uh, the first two thirds of the, the song felt like one thing. And then we went into this more speedier section with the solos and that to finish things out for our outro. I, I just would have really liked to have that chorus back on the end, but that's fine. Um, it was still a great track nonetheless. Great. I say the drumming was probably my favorite thing. Great guitar work on that in here too. And great vocals, of course. But the drums were just so powerful and just carried the song from start to finish. Just a great, great track. Maybe the best on the album I've heard so far. So up next, I got the song Thunderhead, which sounds really cool. Cool uh, titles on this album. 
and uh, stay tuned for that one. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.